Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. So it's nice to paint watercolor perfect and wonderful that way, but it's nice to be very expressive with it. Here I'm going to teach you just take a simple shapes of these, uh, you know, this pitcher and this bowl. And actually the original bowl has like a different type of fruit in it. I added pears in there. And so you can just take anything like this simple and just change it up to make it more expressive. You can see that there's a lot of energy to this painting, right? The energy is in the color, the brush strokes, the splattering. It doesn't always have to be this perfect painting. And sometimes something like this is really, really great. You're exploring, you know, how you want to feel, the, the, uh, the viewer to feel when you're looking at a painting. Do you want to just look at a nice, beautiful painting? That's nice. But do you want some energy around it? And, you know, you want happy energy or angry energy or kind of like wild energy. This is what you need to do. Something like this. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I love painting things like this. I love like being more expressive with the watercolor and getting loose. Um, also check out my Patreon. I have ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials, and a live stream in the top tier. It's just a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. We also have a Facebook group where we do weekly challenges and monthly giveaways. So check that out. You know, it, it's just extra videos and they're more extensive, longer. You know, and on the live stream, people ask me all kinds of questions. We can talk about things that they're interested in. It's really great. So, and you can find the link in my description below. Okay. So without further ado, let's get expressive with our watercolor. Let's, let's just dive into having fun with color and just splattering and shape and all that good stuff. Let's get painting. All right. Let me go over what I'm using for supplies. I'm using Fabiano's block. It's 100% cotton. It's cold press. It's the bright white. I give you the image I found on the internet. I don't know what kind of fruit this is, but maybe a persimmon or something. But I decided to draw in pears. You can draw in apples, whatever you want to draw in. But it's just basic shapes of a bowl and this, like, you know, container, uh, drinking vase, whatever you want to call it, um, pitcher. <laughs> it's like a pitcher, a vase, I mean, whatever. So it's a weird looking pitcher. I mean, I don't know how much liquid you could fit in that. And just the color is like vibrant, right? This yellow and this really intense blue and the, like just the black background and the shadows. So here you can play around with a bunch of different things for this abstract, right? So I've drawn in the actual items here, like my pair. I'm gonna mix up color. I'm gonna be playing with a couple of brushes. Um, a Princeton 3 4 inch flat wash brush, but any flat wash brush could probably do. Um, you know, either I'm going to be washing in color a lot too. So I'll be probably playing with my floppy 12 Prince and Neptune series and maybe my 12 Aqualite series. So you can keep the colors as is like, you know, with the yellow and the blue, the intensity of that, or you could change it up. I'm going to mix up some color. Um, I might change that blue maybe to a cobalt or to a ultramarine blue is like a nice blue. Um, I'm not going to, it's, that's kind of like turquoise. I mean, you can change that to turquoise too. Um, whatever color works for you. And I'm using Cadmium Yellow Deep for the yellow, but you could add, it's like an orangey yellow, maybe add a little orange or a little bit of red, I have Cadmium Red Light, so I can make it like a nice um, yellow orange. So for this exercise, it's abstract, semi-abstract, I'm sorry. Um, you're not having to paint exactly how it is and perfect. We're going to play with this, right? We're going to play with messing it up and splattering and putting in shadows and all that kind of fun stuff. So just get some colors ready. Get your paint activated. I sprayed my paints down. I'm going to get this little red ready here. The blue is kind of going into it. I'm going to have to like stop it from moving <laughs> because my palette is like tilted. Okay. It's going to make it muddy. So we can start off with the blue, play around with that a little bit. So, Here's another trick. You just, you don't have to paint it perfectly. You just get real expressive. So here I'm going in with the paint, just kind of going in, like really kind of deep in here. And I'll probably water it down a little bit here. And you see the edge is gets a lot of pigment. Maybe go back in with more of that. And I'm just playing with loosening up the water in here. Just making sure the bowl is perfect a little bit, the shape. Just like that. And I'm going to go back in and grab the ultramarine blue. 
again, we don't have to get perfect with the shape. You can try and get perfect if you want to. Like, see here, I'm going very, ge very gently and getting that shape in. Going back with my paint, mixing up around here. Now, it shows the photograph, it's like a lot of, a lot of light here. So here, it's pretty dark inside. And then out here, it's pretty light. And keep that like that. Now I'm going to mix some like Payne's Gray into this blue. Just getting it really darker here. Darker over in here. Actually, it's light in this picture. Shadows are kind of funky. Going to get them over here. Okay. So you got the bowl there. I'm going to get the yellow one in too. And we're going to play around with messing up the color a little bit. So I'm just going to put that yellow going down really fast. See, this is like an, when it's semi abstract, you don't have to be perfect. You just go in really fast. I'm mixing up my yellow really fast here. And it touches the blue. Don't worry about it. See, just painting this in pretty quickly. Getting the handle in there and the inside. Okay, now when that's wet, we can start to play with some color. Gonna take my cabin and red light. Gonna go in here and just throw that in. Let's play with color. The inside of that and out here, right? We could put a little bit down here. I'm gonna grab some more of the ultramarine blue. Put it down here, put it out here, here. Now it's blending into this one a little bit. I'm gonna have fun with this. I know there's a method to my madness. <laughs> and then there is burnt sienna here for the table. I'm kind of mixing it up here. Sorry, burnt sienna, burnt umber. I mix a little paint gray. And I'm just gonna go like this because the shadow is here on the table. And turn it here, getting that really quick shadow. You see that? I just kind of went and I got that. If you want to add a little blue to that, boom, just really quick. You see that? And then the, the, the black with the brown went across here. Now I'm going to do a little thing called mess it up. <laughs> I know. I'm going to put the pears in too. The pears can be yellow with a little green. Let's mix up some green. I'm going to go in real quick. Some yellow. Leave a little white. Add a little green. All that good stuff. And put a little red in there too. Cadmium red light. Tap some of that in. Woo! And a little stem. Okay, I have the flat wash brush for a reason. So I'm grabbing some water on there and you know I'm gonna play with this. We're just gonna move the paint from all the things we have, like distort it. See, grab it, kind of twist it. Oh, a little paint. You can tap a little other colors in there, right? Get that. I'm just going out like this. I'm gonna grab a little black, which is paint gray, distort it a little bit. You can even take your brush, grab some, a lot of paint and just kind of splatter around too like that on the side, get that energy. You see how this is going? You can kind of lift after you do that, that edge. I know it's kind of crazy, but this is what we do. So now I'm lifting the paint. So how I do that is I grab some water on my paintbrush, lift it up, go like that, tap it back on a paper towel, right? And you can grab a little bit of the yellow intensity kind of coming out here. So I kind of made that and then destroyed it. <laughs> All that fun stuff. 
it's just what you gotta do. You gotta destroy it. Have we remember this a while ago? We talked about having the charcoal in with the um have that abstract with the charcoal you could play around with adding in some of that like drawing in with the charcoal so we're just drawing over our little designs here having fun with that okay so then the blue again we're gonna have fun with blue we're gonna erase some of him and then add some color out here get some yellow just twisting, erasing some of the bowl. See that? Go back in and add the pear. Add the green, yellow. Just kind of filling that in. I'm even going to go kind of erase this. Just get this little thing moving and grooving. Just taking that big brush and moving it. Get that blue paint. Going back in and adding some of that cobalt, excuse me, ultramarine blue. So it's kind of like a twist, turn, splatter, move it, all that good stuff. Kind of like erasing it out here too, once I put it in. Dark color. So the background is pretty dark, right? I'm going to grab some paints gray. I made a line where the background is in the table. And now I'm going to really go in and add that kind of right back here after I just moved all that paint. Right? You see how that's kind of forming now? So it's not really super abstract, but it's semi abstract. I'm going back in and getting some thicker of the paints gray. Coming in here. And then. I'm gonna just kind of mess that up. Get some water, kind of twist that around. Just like that. It's more expressionist kind of painting. Now we had that charcoal there, right? You can just put a little water and it just kind of changes that a little bit. See? It's gonna change that whole look of that vase or picture just by using a little charcoal. Again, you can get really dark with adding that paint's gray in there. And even here. See, just tapping it in with a flat brush. Really thick, like right out of the tube. And it's a little wet over here. Very expressive. Watercolor doesn't have to be this perfect painting all the time. It can be expressive in how you feel about things. So here I'm just adding in this. The paint's gray, really thick. So it highlights my little pear in the bowl. You see how that kind of just got like... And then down here, I'm going to go in here. Just a technique, simple, like simple shapes. You can just move it around, splatter it, all that good stuff. And I'm gonna do something back here with this little table here. Maybe go in some blue. I don't know, play around with this color. This yellowish color. All that good stuff. Now I'm also gonna take I can take, see it's still damp, you can take a paper towel and kind of remove it on the edge and play around with this a little bit more. See? The bowl. Don't do too much though because you do actually wreck your paper. I'm going to go back in with this ultramarine blue right on the edge and down below here and here. Getting more expressive with my bowl. The expressive watercolor. <laughs> That's how I call it. That's what I'm calling it. That's what I'm sticking with. I can add a little more yellow back here. Real intense right out of the tube. Just to brighten it up. And even in here. Look how quick this was. 
just to paint something real expressive like this. Just a simple bowl full of um, pears and a little vase or a, um, you know, this is a pitcher of some sorts. I'm going to grab some blue and some this color. I'm going to go back here. Again, see how I'm just taking this flat wash brush? That's kind of it, you know? If you want to go back in here. Kind of when you do the dark. Now I might want to wet my brush again and tilt it and kind of just play around with moving some of this paint. Get a little more expressive out here. I could splatter it. It doesn't want to move. Hold on a second. Just leaning in on that section. Look at that. You get this really kind of cool expressive look. I'm going to water it a little bit here. Or you could spray it too. See? Play with your paints. I really love the splatter here. It's kind of like very exciting. <laughs> and it's kind of fuzzy here for this for this picture, so I might want to remove some of that paint. So it's really a crisp edge on the side. A little fuzzy. I can go back in and add some of that bright yellow. But I don't want that like fuzzy black in there. That's really kind of cool, right? Same thing down here. I can just kind of fix this. Maybe add some of that red. And then we have our expressive watercolor, you know, still life. You might want to tweak it a little bit here and there. Like I said, blue up in here. It's still very damp. I lost the bowl exactly how it looks, but it doesn't really matter to me. And you could kind of push it out like this if you wanted to also. So it's kind of like erased. And a little bit here for highlight. I'm going to remove some paint again. Tapping back on my paper towel. But that's my expressive still life really quick just to study you know play around with it you don't have to do this really intricate super detailed painting um you could just go in go back in with this charcoal pencil this is great these are the ones you have to you kind of peel and you twist off and you show the charcoal And like I said, if it's a little too fuzzy in here, you can kind of just either make the edge really, really tight by adding in the thicker paint. See, mine's a little fuzzy. And then it won't be so fuzzy. There. Really kind of sharp. And that is my expressive, I wouldn't call it abstract, abstract. It's just an expressive still life. These are tricks and tricks tricks that you can try and play with you know maybe in here i want to i would like the splatter i did over there maybe i could have done some splatter over there yeah see i'm kind of holding it going this way with my paint brush I'm getting some nice expressive looks we got a little white thing happening there i don't mind it it's kind of fun and then you can just take a little couple of colors like maybe like your red or whatever color you have get some more like tonalities in here just change it up a little bit see I'm adding some more color just to make it a little special I'm leaving the green here up oh, this one bled a little bit in here just gonna lift it and add some red my pears all right so I hope this was fun. <laughs> Maybe you learned something. Maybe you thought I was a little crazy. 
but I love to play, and I think you should too. You can go a little bit darker in here, as you saw the shadow in the actual photograph. I'm going to add a little of that Payne's Gray, and it's going to really highlight the, the fruit even more. Um, the blue got a little bit in here. That's fine. All right, so I kind of removed some of the paint over here because I felt like it was getting a little too blended, so you can see the highlight better. You know, there's a shadow going on, like you saw in the photograph of here, kind of happening with the bowls. Um, you can play around with that. It's up to you. Um, yeah, you just play with the paint, splatter it, remove it, you know, add some color, just have fun. Simple shapes really are the best way to start with something like this. And if you feel intimidated, you know, maybe do something else. But I think it's super easy for any skill level. I think this is fun for any skill level. Playing with splattering and all that. Removing paint, you know, kind of like just erasing it. See, go right here. You just go erase a little bit. Get the highlight. So be expressive with your watercolor. You don't have to paint these perfect little paintings. They can have a lot of personality to them. You can change things, add things. You know, I might go in and even splatter some nice red in here change it up make it different and unique so i hope this was fun i hope you had an enjoyable time watching me paint this <laughs> and learn something from it if you have any questions leave them in the comment section listen get expressive with your watercolor have fun with it don't paint like this perfect picture all the time maybe you paint it perfect and then you kind of play around with it removing it and erasing it and it has a more expressive feel to it all right thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel take care and i'll speak to you soon